Hi, I'm Jason Debley. Been away for a little bit, been busy doing the uh, reviewing whiskies for the Canadian Whiskey Awards for 2019, organized by a friend of mine. And so I had to sample 113 different Canadian whiskies and try to single out a few good ones. So that took some time. I also started a new job, kind of went back to some old friends of mine, and really glad I did that. Uh, and also, been trying a lot of different whiskies as the holiday season approaches. And tonight we're going to look at another whiskey from the Compass Box Company, which I reviewed one of their offerings in my last review. And the Compass Box Company, you'll recall, is an independent bottler, meaning they buy whiskies, uh, malt whiskies, grain whiskies across Scotland from different distilleries, and then they will do some of their own man wood management. They will blend them and create their own product. Tonight we're going to look at a whiskey. It's a blended Scotch whiskey, so it's 50% grain whiskey, 50% malt whiskey. It's called the Great King Street Artists Blend by the Compass Box Company. Don't have a lot left because I've been sampling it. 43% alcohol by volume, 750 milliliter format. What I really like about the Compass Box Company is that on the label they tell you non-chill filtered and no artificial color. And I'm finding that the really great whiskeys in this world have those two attributes. They have it right here down at the bottom. Okay, a little bit about wood management with this whiskey. It's principally, uh, the spirit's been aged in ex-bourbon casks. Now what does that tell you when most of the wood management's ex-bourbon? You're going to get more likely flavors of like banana, melon, vanilla, uh, cream, lighter flavors. There is some sherry casks used in the wood management, but a, a lot less. It's principally ex-bourbon. Okay, let's pour a dram. On a price point basis, this is very affordable. I'm going to finish the bottle off. Cork stopper. Price is good. They'll put that there so it's in the camera shot. On the nose, it's creamy. Oranges. Vanilla. And a little bit of peat. Definitely, the, and there's kind of some apple cider note to it. It's pleasant. On the palate, undiluted. It's apple pie, like a baked, warm apple pie out of the oven with a little bit of extra cinnamon in there. It's soft, it's creamy, English cream. Lots of orange citrus. It's crisp, it's definitely got a honey zest to it. A little bit of like wild honey with some lemon zest mixed in. It's good, very good. The finish is long, you're left with some lemon meringue pie, uh, you know, a soft Cuban cigar like H. Upman. It's a little puckering at the end. It's complex. This is a blended scotch whiskey with complexity. What does this taste like in the single malt world? Think Glenmorangie, 10 year old or the 12 year old Nectar de Or. And this I consider to be better than Glenfiddich 12 year old, which is a single malt. This is not a single malt, a blended scotch, but I think it's better than Glenfiddich uh, 12. Uh, in fact, I prefer this to Glenlivet 12, which is a little more sherried. Glenlivet 12 is better than Glenfiddich 12. Um, this is, tries to be like 
I think, well, I don't know if they try to be like, but it's similar to the flavor camp of Craig and Moore 12 year old. Craig and Moore 12 is better, but if you like Craig and Moore 12, Nectar to Ore, Glen Morangi 10 year old, Johnny Walker Green Label, Linkwood, you're going to like this. And I'm astounded at the quality and no obvious flaws for a very affordable price point. Fifty percent of the malt whiskies in this come from the Highland region. Fifty percent of the grain and the grain whiskies, which make up fifty percent of this blend, come from the Lowland region. Lowland whiskies are soft. The Highland region, not really. They're certainly not super strong, but I think of uh, Oban and more of a sherry character. Although this is not. This has got some sherry character. To give it some backbone but it's principally honeyed ex-bourbon casks. So there you have it, friend. Great King Street Artist's Blend by Compass Box, 43% alcohol by volume. Highly recommend it, especially the price point, and there's no obvious flaws. Really impressed with it. Would be a good affordable gift for Christmas time. Take care. See ya.